you guys welcome back to my channel um i hope you guys are all doing well i wanted to give a quick ttc update um, it's nothing too much really um right now we're on cycle 11 i am cd 10 i think today around 10 ish um so nearing fertile window time um but not there yet i kind of I think I've told you guys before, I ovulate a little later than normal. So we're getting close, which is exciting. Um, and also, I never gave you guys um, too much of an update on what the fertility specialist said that we talked to. I know I talked about it in, I think, a couple videos back. Um, and I just wanted to give you like a quick update on what happened at the appointment. It was a video chat. Um, and we just got to know the doctor and, um, he got to know us and, you know, kind of like our background and, um, basically the clinic is closed right now, um, due to COVID, but as soon as they open back up, then we should be good to start running some tests and, um, you know, keep moving forward. So that's really exciting. But... Basically, like my husband is would do a semen analysis, which we've been wanting to do for a while. I think that'll be really helpful. Um, and then for me, um, he just said to like keep doing OPKs, which you know I'm going to be doing it for two years. I think I can manage to keep going. He said I need to call the office um, with the onset of my period, so on um, CD one. And they're going to monitor me through a natural cycle to see when I'm ovulating and just to do OPKs at home. And then as soon as I get a positive OPK, he's going to have me come in and they're going to do a vaginal ultrasound to measure the size of my follicles, check my estrogen levels, and then do a post-ovulatory progesterone level check as well. Um, and then they're going to do, which I was expecting, they do something like an HSD test, if you're familiar with that. Um, and he talked about doing a saline infusion sonogram um, to see my like, uterus and how it looks. Um, and they're going to like run dye through my tubes to see if they're open. Um, which, he said, from my miscarriage, obviously one of my tubes must be open. And so that's, you know, good news. Um, and he's expecting that like, both of them will probably be open. Um, but, I mean, I could just have one open tube and that's what worked before when I got pregnant before. Um, and so yeah, those are all the tests that he wants to do on me. I have a ton more than my husband will. <laughs> um, but I mean, that's to be expected, so. Um, but yeah, it just kind of goes over like all his plans for testing once they open back up. Um, who knows when that will be, like I said. So, yeah. For now, we're just, um, I mean, I'm, I've been staying home like on quarantine because I'm working from home for the most part. Um, I just go into the school here and there but most of it is from home um and yeah we're just waiting for the clinic to open back up um but you know before then we're just doing things the same way that we've been doing um i'll start taking opks in a few days probably um as i get closer to ovulation but yeah so Nothing really new to update on besides, you know, information from our appointment and yeah. I wish we could begin all the testing now, like this cycle, but I mean that's just not possible with everything going on right now. Um, but yeah, we'll keep going, go through another cycle. And see, maybe after this cycle, cycle 11, might possibly 
workout so that cycle 12 can be when I start all this testing, but I don't know. We'll see. It might be cycle 13, honestly. We just don't know, which is frustrating. But that's just the way it is. So, but yeah. If any of you guys have had those tests done, um, especially like um, the dye test, and I've heard different things about that. Like some people say it's really painful and really crampy and the other people say it didn't bother them that much. So I don't know what to expect. I definitely will be really nervous. But if any of you have gone through that, please let me know what your experience was like. I would love to know um, so I can kind of prepare myself for that. Um, but I think that's the main thing that I'm a little anxious about right now. Um, the rest of the testing seems pretty, I mean, straightforward, like blood tests and um, a vaginal ultrasound. I just assume will be uncomfortable, but not, you know, painful or anything. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any advice, let me know. Um, even though I won't be going through it for however long. Um, Hopefully, we don't even have to go through this testing. Like, hopefully, you know, in a perfect world, we would get pregnant this cycle and we wouldn't even have to go through all this testing and, you know, spend money and, you know, all that. But, I don't know, we'll see. I really hope it works this time. Um, yeah, we're just trying to do everything we possibly can this cycle, you know, at home to make this work before we go to the clinic and start doing all this, all this stuff um, and spending all this money. We don't even know how much money, but it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be cheap. So... That would just be amazing if we could get pregnant naturally this cycle without having any other help. I just really hope that's the case. So keep your fingers crossed for us, please. <laughs> We'd appreciate it. <coughs> oh, I shouldn't be coughing right now. <coughs> I'm gonna scare people. Um, I'll keep you guys updated with ovulation coming probably around, I want to say, like a week or so from now. Um, but it might be a little bit later. I just don't know. Like, it's not super consistent. Um, for the most part, it is. Like, I should be in about a week. Um, but you never know. Like, I've had some really weird randomly freakish cycles that are crazy long so you never know but I should be ovulating soon so I will keep you guys updated on that um yeah thank you for watching and I will see you guys later bye <laughs>